voting for the next Academy Awards begins today. And I guarantee you this movie is probably on a lot of those ballots. Cue title scene. First he was Captain Phillips, now he's Walt Disney. That's right, people. Tom Hanks is now proving he can play any role, anything you want, because guess what? There's no hiding this. He kills it as Walt Disney. That's right, I'm getting fast into it, because Saving Mr. Banks is by far the feel-good movie of the year, assuming you couldn't get your feel-good from Giant Robots vs. Giant Monsters. That's right, this is a very sort of different kind of Disney movie. It is a true story. Ish. Mostly. We hope. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of story spreading. Oh, this film's not true. Oh, it's a lie. Oh, this. Oh, that. And to that I say, who cares? It's the holiday season, and this film is a great holiday movie. And as an added bonus, it's a great anytime movie. I swear, I was really psyched and hyped for this movie. It was my last big hoorah for the year. And it was the last movie I was excited and curious to see, and I am not going to lie, the hype helped. Because going into this movie, it's kind of hard to tell what it's about. When you, I remember when the pictures first started showing up and the first posters, you really couldn't tell. And then the trailers started coming off, and then the reviews started coming out, and then all the work that one of his movies started getting showed, and it makes you appreciate this story even more. And that story is basically how the story of Harry Pop Mary Poppins became real. And that story is crazy, insane, and turbulent. A lot more turbulent than you'd expect, because essentially Emma Thompson plays J.P. Travers. She is the writer of the Mary Poppins books, and Walt Disney promised his daughters when they were younger it, that he would make them into movies. Or one movie, apparently. And Travers... P.L. Travers was not that happy with the idea. She didn't want it getting turned into a movie. She didn't want it getting turned into like some family comedy musical like Disney was doing. She wanted it to just stay the way it is. And you're kind of looking at this like, why? It's a movie. Everyone loves movies. No one reads anymore. But then as the movie goes on, you really get that reason. You get the sense that this is a woman who went through a lot in life and Mary Poppins is how it comes to be. And, you know, like I said, is the film totally accurate? I don't know, but it felt amazing. Everything from the way the music worked to Walt himself, it was just a great, fun movie. It was insane. The acting is great. I'm so shocked Tom Hanks didn't get a Golden Globe nomination. He felt like Walt Disney. I'm like, how could you pull this off? Everyone knows Walt Disney, but he did it. He made you forget he was Tom Hanks. I mean, they showed pit clips of Walt Disney during the Disney Christmas parade I was watching. And just watching this movie, you're like, he got it spot on. Maybe it is Walt Disney. Maybe they found that frozen head and put it on Tom Hanks' shoulders. But, again, just everyone else. Emma Thompson does a great job. She's been nominated for a Golden Globe. She should just get the Oscar now. This was an amazing performance. She carries this movie. Colin Farrell's amazing, Paul Giamatti's amazing. This whole movie is just a beautiful, fun ride. And it's just so great to see all the work that goes into these stories and just how well it made it to the screen. Now again, like I said, you can kind of make the argument that's not always true. Everyone in this movie has a sob story. You know, Thompson you expect. Walt Disney, I learned a lot of stuff about him that was kind of dramatic. Freaking Paul Giamatti, he's not in this movie as much as you expect, but even he's got a sob story. But that's this kind of movie, and it all just came together, and it's beautiful, and it's amazing, and it is the definition of a 10 out of 10 on the um, biopic or drama scale, just whatever. This was a beautiful movie. Um, I'm going to be out of town the next couple of days. This is probably my last review of the year before I do my top 10 list for 2013 which will be in 2014, which is in a few days. But definitely, this is such a great way to end the year off. Such an amazing film to say end of the year with. I thought this was a beautiful, amazing movie, and I'm so happy I saw it. 
So um, would you be happy if you saw it? In the comment section below, let's just go big. Tell me your favorite Disney movie and if you'd love to learn more about how that came true. Because, hey, let's make this into a franchise. Bring out Walt Disney's frozen head and get him to talk. Tell him the stories of how these movies get made. That will scare away children, but God damn it, I would watch that. And as always, click here to subscribe below, because Walt Disney's dead head might not be able to talk, but I can.